Mark here at Whiskey Whistle. Remy Martin XO Cognac. Should this be your next cognac buy? Stay tuned for the Remy Martin XO Whiskey Whistle. Bonjour mes amis, this is Mark from Whiskey Whistle, your wise choice in independent whiskey and spirits reviews, bringing you whiskey review number 247, Remy Matin Exo Excellence Fine Champagne Cognac. Now, Fine Champagne Cognac, this is a blend of uh, Grand Champagne and also uh, Petit Champagne. And for uh, the Remy Matin Exo Excellence, this is an 85% uh, Grand Champagne, uh, Grand Champagne and 15% uh, Petit Champagne, Petit Champagne. Now, I can't pronounce that very well, I apologize. Now, um, I've never tried this before. Have I tried it before? I, I might have. Uh, my father was a real big uh, cognac guy, he still is. Now, uh, I can't recall if he's had that one in the house. I know we've had some other brands uh, of EXO, but I'm not sure about this one. So this could be a first for me. So let's get that poured. And we'll go about halfway in. I think that's pretty good. What a color that's got. My goodness. Nice little mini bottle I picked up here in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, it's actually been a world traveling uh, cognac. It's been to Winnipeg and back, which is interesting. I, I meant to do the review um, a couple of weeks ago in Winnipeg, but it just didn't happen. I've got three small children and it was just too much to handle to try and fit all that in. Um, and also try to get over the jet lag. Anyway, here on the show, we like to look at the color of the spirit, in this case, the cognac. We'll look at the legs of the cognac, and then we'll check out the nose, the palate, and the finish for the Remy Martin uh, Fine Champagne Cognac XO Excellence. All right, all right, so let's check out the color first of all. What do you see there for color? Boy, that's dark, isn't it? Now, I want to say that this is really mahogany in color, very dark, darker than um, anything recently that I've noticed that this has been dark. This is the darkest, so quite a, quite a nice dark color, very nice. And what about the legs? Now, it's 40% ABV. Um, I wish the, the cognac industry would sort of get on to the idea of um, uh, cask strength, um, cask strength cognacs that would be nice okay let's spin it around check out the legs what do we have for legs here fairly brisk legs a little bit hanging there at the top there and some sticking to the sides but pretty quick event and I think that would be enhanced if it were slightly higher proof being a cognac, which is um, a, a grape distillate, okay, so um, cognac and is a type of brandy, and um, uh, brandy means uh, uh, fruit spirits, so uh, fruit that has been fermented and, um, uh, and then finally distilled. Cognac, as I said, is a type of brandy, and cognac comes from a particular region of France, and only in that region uh, and only with a particular number of types of grapes and a particular kind of wood and a particular distillation process can that brandy then be called uh, cognac. So that's quite interesting. Inside that cognac region there are various sub-regions, kind of like Scotch whiskey with its uh, highland and lowland and spaceside and uh, uh, islands and, and um, uh, isla. Okay, so there's sub-regions inside that, that cognac region. This one is uh, the Grand Champagne region and the Petite Champagne region. So those two mixed. Interesting. Um, and if you're a whiskey lover and you're wondering about cognac, you know, is it single, um, you know, single whatever, uh, this would be analogous to a blended, uh, blended malt, I guess we'll call it, a blended malt whiskey. Okay, so it's a blend of a variety of cognacs, and those cognacs would be um, a single distillery, single, uh, single cognacs. You don't see a lot of single cognacs out there. I think they are starting to come out, but um, 
the industry is largely focused on the uh, the big blending houses like uh, Remy Martin and uh, and a few others. All right, so that was the legs. Now let's get on to the nosing. It's very fruity and it's got that particular, just that rich, very sense commandeering sort of a scent uh, that really takes over your, your senses. It's also got some leather. It's certainly got a bit of um, uh, vanilla and um, maybe like a burnt sugar or um, crystallized, not quite burnt sugar, but caramelized sugar that's then been kind of um, made into candy. In terms of cognac, this is the one that is less grapey and a little bit more, a little bit more sort of a uh, sugar, brown sugar, dark brown sugar, um, kind of a stewed fruit sort of an affair. A little bit different than some of the other ones that I've had. I really like the nose here. There is a little bit of a little bit of milk chocolate. Raisins for sure, no doubt. It actually reminds me quite a lot of the Macallan 18. You know, being a cognac, the barrels, these are, are not, uh, they're not charred, they're toasted. So you get a toasted barrel. So that adds a little bit less kind of a smokiness and a little bit less of that raw uh, sweetness and a little bit more something like a nutmeg. So there's something kind of like nutmeg here. Nutmeg and... Um, Cardamom, yes, some cardamom. A little bit of something minty as well. Mmm, what a nose. Boy, this is very nice. Okay, let's check out the palette now. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Very much a rich Demerara brown sugar uh, event with a little bit of um, like a, a, a grape reduction. Now the grapes really come through in the finish and it's got a quite a big finish. So after you swallow there is yet another big event to this cognac. It's very sugary. I think my favorite parts of this are the nose and then also the finish. The finish is extremely long. Uh, the wood influence is especially noticed here in the finish. Boy, that really carries quite a long time. Another taste. Mmm. Caramel and brown sugar on the palate. Kind of like very, also very ripe strawberries. A, a really ripe strawberry dipped in caramel um, would be a good descriptor of the palate for this one. And the finish, as I mentioned, that kind of a syrupy grape reduction. Something like a almost like a candy. It's kind of like the finish here. Now, flawless palette. I certainly enjoy it. For me, the particular sort of specialty here of the Remy Martin Exo Excellence is the nose and the finish. 
something almost a little bit pine, pine-esque coming through in the finish as well. What a very nice cognac this is. Now I want to add just a little bit of water and see what happens. Not too much, this is 40%, so it's pretty much, you know, perfect drinking strength, but curiosity, you know, it killed the cat, and uh, I always want to know what happens when you add water. And again, a little bit more of a non-grape kind of a boy I think this would be a, a favorite cognac of uh, scotch whiskey lovers especially the, those that like uh, your older space sides I get a little bit more spices a little bit more nutmeg Still not very grapey on the nose. Okay, and the palate with water then. Cheers again. Well, not much has changed on the palate. A little bit less of that uh, um, brown sugar sweetness. A little bit more of that very ripe strawberry. The finish, well, it's just a little bit drier, which is actually a little bit welcome in my opinion. So I think that might be best with a dash, a couple of drops of, uh, of water added. Mm. Well, anyway, that's uh, uh, Remy Martin XO Fine Champagne, Fine Champagne Cognac, from the perspective of a, uh, uh, a single malt whiskey nut. Anyway, let's get on to the uh, uh, the score, the cognac score for Remy Martin XO Fine Champagne Cognac. Fine champagne, right? Yep. <laughs> All right, well, uh, the Whiskey Whistle Cognac score for this is going to be 89 out of 100. Yes, you heard right. 89 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Cognac score for Remy Mate XO Fine Champagne Cognac. Beautiful bottle, very distinctive. Just a quick comment. Um, a subscriber had asked me about uh, uh, St. Remy or uh, Sang, uh, Sang, Remy, Sang Remy French Brandy and I actually happened to try some in Winnipeg at my uncle's house uh, that was the VSOP and I, th I think that's the one he had asked about and what I thought about it was was that it was an excellent brandy and when you consider the price just a very very nice product so that was uh, uh, the Saint, uh, Saint Remy uh, uh, Sang Remy uh, fine brandy from, from France, excellent stuff. That is distilled in pot stills as well as column stills. Now, I believe that the Remy Martin Cognac, the Remy Martin Cognac, is only uh, distilled in pot stills, uh, those very fat, round um, cognac stills that you find in France. And um, so that'll be one, again, one difference when you're looking at. Uh, getting a uh, brandy versus getting a French brandy versus getting a cognac. What's the difference? Well, there's a difference in grape. There's a difference in region. There's di a difference in, in distillation methods also. There's probably also a difference in the, uh, uh, the age and perhaps also um, the particular, um, particular casks. The best, best casks all go to cognac. Um, that's another reason for the difference in price. Anyway, still a great product though. This is just outstanding. 
Uh, I think if you are a Macallan 18 or a Glendronic 18 fan, this will be right up your alley. It's an excellent product. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Whiskey Whistle. Click the little icon right over here and leave a comment. What do you think about the Remy Martin Cognac, uh, the XO? I'd love to hear from you, okay? And as I mentioned, um, the Patreon account is open, uh, patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. I'd love for you to join Team Whiskey Whistle. There will be a mini newsletter coming to those who offer a, uh, a monthly support of, uh, of Whiskey Whistle. So make sure you check that out, okay? Thanks for tuning in today. Stay tuned for number 248. That'll be something very, very delicious. Goodbye. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time.